A hazmat situation and then a fire. That's what happened at a Walker business this afternoon. You saw the breaking news live at noon, and then the situation lasted well into the afternoon. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson's was there since the beginning, and she joins us now with more on the details on what happened. Is it all safe now, Danny? Well, Brian, we're told that everyone who was evacuated from both that building and the surrounding buildings have been allowed back into their home and businesses. The crews allowed to go back into that industrial plant this afternoon, but we're told only to shut down machines and close things up. That's after the hazmat situation, which we've learned was sparked by a chemical reaction in a batch of adhesive. You gotta be over here, okay? okay. We started out downwind, covering a hazmat situation. Dangerous enough, fire crews made us move for safety. If it means that you gotta get another truck or something to come around, that's fine, but you can't come in from that way. Initially, the call came out as a fire alarm. Crews got to the scene to find out two chemicals and a batch of adhesive reacted with each other and started releasing gases. The building was evacuated, as were some surrounding buildings. Then, two hours later, a fire started as a byproduct of that initial chemical reaction. It sent black smoke up into the air and plant employees walking upwind. It's a chemical plant, and they work there, so they kind of know the dangers. No one was hurt, but an ambulance was brought to the scene for first responders just in case for the dangerous materials and the heat. Next door neighbor told us that she considers the plant a good neighbor. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you what we found out about the plant's history. Brian?